building a front end web app using cloud dev this is absolutely amazing guys i'm very excited i've uploaded a few days ago a video about about cloud dev which is this github repository an open source project which is amazing it's an ai coding assistant that works very well it can execute code um, it's a VS Code extension, by the way. It can execute code using Cloud, and it works great. I was able to create amazing stuff with it. And today I want to share with you a few of my experiments that I've done. So first of all, since my last video, um, they have also added another option in which you can upload images and screenshots to the project and then use Cloud multimodal ability in order to analyze uh, the image but in this video i want to share with you how i rebuilt this stories database from the indie hackers website so what i did i actually combined the power of google gemini with um, cloud dev using cloud sonnet as the llm so first of all what i did I basically wanted to take this website and recreate this using Cloud Dev. So I recorded a video using OBS that um, basically walks through, through this um, web page and explains what exactly I see in the web page. So let me show you the video just so you'll have context. It's two minutes long. So basically I explained everything like all the all the sorting and filtering abilities that they have in the website. I then showed a specific story example showing the headline, the auto, um, what does each page consist of, so the company, the founders, the challenges that they faced, etc. And what I did, I uploaded this file to Google Gemini. Now, Google Gemini has an ability to um, extract prompts from videos. So, like in Claude and OpenAI, they offer you, you can um, analyze images and text, but Google Gemini is also able to analyze video. So, what I did, I came to the Anthropic Console, which is a feature by the Anthropic team, the Claude team, and they have a prompt generator. So, I asked it to this is the prompt i need your help with recreating what is shown in the video providing detailed instructions of how to build what is shown in the video explain as if you're describing what you're saying to a blind person add also guidelines from the commentator so basically i told gemini to take a look at the video and describe everything that he sees in the video as if is explaining what it is to a blind person and the prompt that Claude generated was you are tasked with we are tasked with providing a detailed description of a video and instructions or how to recreate what is shown in it your goal is to explain the content as if you're describing it to a blind person ensuring that every visual detail is conveyed clearly clearly and comprehensively first you will be presented with a description of the video content read this carefully as it will form the basis of your detailed explanation. Now they open XML tags, which is incorrect, but never mind. Using this information, provide a thorough step-by-step -step description of what is shown in the video. Include detail about the setting or the environment, the people or objects involved, the actions or processes being demonstrated, any changes or transformations that occur, the sequence or event as they unfold. Be sure to use vivid descriptive language that paints a clear picture of someone who cannot see the video. Explain colors, shapes, sizes, etc. In addition to describing the video content, you should also incorporate guidelines provided by the commentators. Integrate these guidelines into your description and instructions when appropriate, ensuring that they complement and enhance your explanation of the video content. Present your response in the following format. A detailed description of the video content, step-by-step -step instructions on how to create to recreate what is shown in the video i will just read slower and if you guys are interested you can just view the video at 2x because <laughs> it's a bit tiring 
Yes, yeah, so moving on, any additional insights or tips based on the commentator's guidelines and close your entire response with answer tags. Use appropriate subheadings to organize your response clearly. Now, so this was my initial prompt to Google Gemini using the newest model. So as you can see here, I uploaded the video, which was 28,000 tokens, and then I gave it the prompt. And this was the response. Okay, I can help you with that. Here is a detailed description of, it, of the video, step-by-step -step instructions on how to recreate it and some additional insights based on the commentator's guidelines. Answer, video description. The video shows a website named Indie Hackers, a platform where individuals share stories about starting and growing profitable online businesses. The speaker in the video wants to recreate a web application that replicates the functionality of the stories database section on this website. The speaker is specifically interested in replicating the filtering and sorting options available on the stories database page. These include sort by newest, oldest, highest revenue and lowest revenue, monthly revenue, a sliding bar with a range from 0 to 2500k. Uh, this allows the user to filter stories based on the monthly revenue generated by the business, Learnings, a drop-down menu with options for anything or specific learnings like SEO. Company size, a sliding bar with a range of 1 to 250, allowing users to filter by the number of employees in the company. Industry, a multi-select drop-down list with a long list of industry options. Business model, a multi-select drop-down list with a various business models such as advertising, affiliate and referral, API monetization, B2B, B2C, etc. And this is amazing because this is all stuff that was shown in the video and I just briefly went over it during like my screen recording. Location, etc. Below these filtering options, the speaker wants an add story button that allows users to contribute their own stories to the database. Each story should include fields for headline, auto name, date, company name, founder's name, revenue, and the main text of the story. The video then shows an example of a story from the Indie Hackers website. Let's move on because it's becoming a bit boring. Step-by-step -step instructions. To recreate the website shown in the video, you'll need to follow, to follow these steps. Create the basic structure. Start, start by creating a web page with a header that says Stories Database. Add a short description below. Add filtering options. Implement the revenue filter. Add the remaining filters, include add story button, design the story template, populate with example data, and test the functionality. Additional insights, based on the commentator guidelines, here are some important points to keep in mind. So I took all of this and I just pasted it here in Cloud Dev. So this was the prompt that I gave Cloud Dev. I just added, help me with recreating the Indie Hacker Story database. Do everything in story. This is the directory I wanted it to create. And I, as you know, Cloud Dev, or if you don't know, Cloud Dev shows you how many tokens were uploaded, how many were downloaded, and the API cost. And then we created this. Let's go down. Oh, this oh never mind it's it it uh, for some reason <laughs> I don't think they have history um, but this sucks so but never mind anyway so I gave it the prompt it created the first version um, this isn't the first version this is how this is a different test that I did before recording this video basically I kind of did the same but without this the uh, video recording I just added a screenshot um, to Cloud Dev over here with a short explanation and it went pretty well. The only thing that at the beginning it created this stuff, all of these stories and the banner only on their, this side of the screen. So what I did, I took a picture. This was what it did initially and I just uploaded this picture. So this is how it looked like. So I took these arrows, I created these arrows, moved stories to here and moved the add story here. This is, and this is what it, what it created. As you can see here, headline test, test, we can add dates, company. Let's one, one, this is just an example. 
and you can see it was added over here. Everything is fully functional. We can remove by company size. We can filter by technology. Anyway, this was the initial test. The second test is what I started showing you guys. So I gave that prompt to Claude Dev. He created the first version, but um, the add story button wasn't functional. So what I did, I went to Gemini and I asked it to write exactly what does each story page have. And since Gemini has in the context, it has the video, it can tell me exactly what each uh, page has. So based on the video, each story page on the Indie Hacker Story database should have the following elements. So headline, a large bold title summarization Summarizing the story, the name of the person who wrote the story, the date, the company name, the founder's name, the revenue, the, and the text. And in addition to the elements, the speaker also mentioned a context section on the left side. Never mind. So what I did, I just copied this and I asked Claude Dev to add this uh, to the stories. And he did so. And now this is the newest version. So we can obviously sort by. We have the slider, which you can see is fully functional. And when we want to add a, a, a functional story, or oh, this is not the this is not the correct one. This is the correct one. So this was the initial version. As you can see, when I hit the add story button, it says add story functionality not implemented yet. But this is the newer version. So whenever I do add story, I have this pop up, and then I can submit story and it adds it over here. Yeah, and obviously there are still many things that needs to be adjusted and fixed and make it mobile responsive and searchability. And anyway, this, we don't have a backend connected yet, but the main idea here of the video, which I wanted to share with you is first of all, how powerful Claude Dev is using Claude Sonnet 3.5, the ability to add images with instructions in the image as context and how powerful that is because when you use an image with arrows the explanation is better and also the combination of screen recording of videos and using um, the Gemini like Google's AI studio in order to create context from a video and obviously we also used the anthropic uh, prompt generator which is cool i mean it's not crucial but it's also pretty nice and helpful so yeah if i had to summarize the video if you want to build stuff i highly recommend that you use a video recording of what you want to build pour it in to google gemini make sure that you mention in the in the description that they need to explain as if they are explaining or describing to a blind person. This is what has been working for me. Based on this, you generate a prompt and then you use Claude Dev in order to write the code for you. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, obviously like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas for improvement, optimization. And please make sure to check out other videos on my channel. And yeah, I guess that's it. Until next time, keep on automating.